presented A S M Hello everyone, welcome to Scented ASMR. Today, I have a fragrance haul that I'd like to talk about. I have a few fragrances that I've picked up recently, and I have some thoughts on them. And so, I'd like to share my thoughts with you today. The first fragrance that I want to talk about. This is called Yara Twos. And it's by Latafa. Not a big fan of this bottle. I have um, the other Yara fragrances. I'm not really a fan of any of the bottles. So Yara Twos was released in 2023. Top notes are coconut, mango, and passion fruit. The mid notes are jasmine, heliotrope, and orange blossom. The base notes are vanilla, cashmere, and musk. And this is basically a very sweet tropical scent. It's the most prominent notes that I pick up in here are the mango, the jasmine, and the musk. I actually pick up a lot of the jasmine. It's a lot more floral heavy than I expected. And the jasmine to me smells kind of like a sharp jasmine. It's not very soft. Like the original Yara, this one's fruity and tropical. And it's also powdery from the heliotrope note. Um, other people say they get a lot of coconut from this. I don't. It's there, but I feel like the, the mango really overpowers it. And unfortunately, I don't get any of the passion fruit, which I was hoping for, because I love passion fruit. Also, I, I think this is a lot more musky than it is creamy, at least to my nose. I've heard other people say it's a creamy fragrance, but to me, I get a sharp musk. I wonder if possibly I may be anosmic to the vanilla that's in this. 
So maybe I just can't smell it. That's why it doesn't smell creamy to me. I, I'm not sure about this one. I'm going to put it away and um, retest it again in a few weeks. But this may not stay in my collection. So that's Yara Twos. And it's by Latafa. This next one that I have here. This one. It's called Infinite Sky. And it's by Este Fodder. Here's the bottle. So Infinite Sky is considered an amber spicy fragrance and it's by the perfumer Dominic Ropion. The top note is Sichuan Pepper. The mid note is Madagascar Vanilla. And the base note is leather wood. So basically this is a spicy vanilla fragrance. The opening of it is very spicy and peppery. The vanilla is very warm and rounded and it's just slightly sweet. This is a non-gourmand vanilla. It does not smell edible to me. It's also, it's powdery. And it has a very dry, ambery texture to it. As it dries down, the spices really soften up and the vanilla becomes more prominent and creamy. It does smell a little bit mature to me. It has a mature vibe but not overly so. And I find this to be very unisex because I feel like the opening kind of leans masculine, but then the dry down kind of leans more feminine. So I think this can kind of go either way. I think that this is a really nice, um, good quality, non-gourmand vanilla. I, um, have a feeling this may become one of my favorite warm weather vanillas. I don't know yet because it's, it's hot where I live and I just purchased it, so I can't really test it in the cooler weather. Uh, this isn't really the appropriate.
a season for it. It really surprised me. I, I tested it when I went to the cosmetics company store. Um, I had sampled a few other from this line before, and I didn't like any of them. I thought they, they were just okay, nothing that I was really into. So I kind of wrote off the whole line. But then when I was in the cosmetics company store, I, um, I figured, oh, well, I'll just test this one. And I sprayed it and I was very surprised. It was an instant love as soon as I smelled it in the air. Um, vanillas are easy for me to like, but this one just, it smells like it's really good quality and it's kind of unique. Um, so I'm happy to have this in my collection now. And so that's Infinite Sky and it's by Estee Lauder. This next one that I have this is called Evening Rose, and it's by Erin. This is a, um, a travel spray. I think Erin always does pretty packaging even on her travel sprays. Yeah. It has a pretty design on the back here. Oh, Evening Rose. This is another one I picked up at the cosmetics company store. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just, I shop there. They have good deals on fragrances. And so this one, it was released in 2013. And it's an amber floral fragrance. The notes are Bulgarian Rose, Rose de Mai, Cognac, Blackberry, Incense, Amber, and Pepper. And this is an ambery, fruity rose fragrance. I get a lot of blackberry from this especially in the opening and it mixes with the rose and it makes it a fruity and jammy rose although it's not like a super sweet rose it is sweet but it's not super sweet you do get the cognac note and it makes this, it gives this fragrance a boozy quality to it. And the incense and the pepper, they add a little bit of spice and depth to the fragrance. I can see why this call, they call this Evening Rose, why they named it that, because it does smell very elegant, 
like something you would wear when you were dressed up to go somewhere nice. Um, but for me, I would, I would wear this during the day. I never save my fragrances for special occasions. And this, I believe, is light enough and um, mass appealing enough to wear anywhere, really. Yeah, that's a it's a nice sweet fruity rose fragrance. So that was Evening Rose by Aaron. Alright, so this one is one that I've been waiting to get my hands on. If you've watched my um, celebrity fragrance video, you'll know that uh, the original Sweet Tooth is currently my favorite celebrity fragrance. And so this is a flanker and it's called Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. And it's by Sabrina Carpenter. S W E E T T O O T H Sweet Two. So like the original fragrance, this comes in a chocolate bar, and the original one's pink, but this one's actually chocolate cover colored. Possibly that may be um, caramel. Inside says Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. So Sweet Tooth Caramel Dream. It is an amber vanilla fragrance. It was released in 2023, and the perfumer is Gil Clavian. Top notes are almond milk, sugar, orange, lemon, and freesia. The mid notes are vanilla, dark chocolate, orange blossom, and orchid. Base notes are patchouli, sandalwood, musk, caramel, and amber. So 
So this one, to me, I would say this is about 80% similar to the original Sweet Tooth, which is not the original one is a powdery, fluffy, marshmallowy scent. And this definitely has the strong um, resemblance to it. The difference is, um, in this one, I do pick up some very prominent citrus notes. Um, the lemon and the orange, you can really smell them, especially in the opening. And this one also, it lacks the candied ginger note that's in the original. You don't get the kind of candied zestiness from that. I can tell that the chocolate in here is um, a darker chocolate, and but it's still not very prominent. It's more of like a dusting of chocolate. I'm not sure why they named this Caramel Dream. I'm not picking up any caramel. But maybe that's just my nose. Maybe other people are getting it. And I do know, I see people saying that the patchouli in here is very strong. And they're comparing it to like uh, Moogler Angel Muse. Which, I don't think it smells anything like that. I don't even pick up the patchouli in here. Um, I think this smells closer to, if you've ever smelled, a uh, Prada Candy Night, it's closer to that. It doesn't smell anything like Angel Muse, which has strong patchouli in it. But, the fact that this is so similar to the original, and I really love the original so much, I don't think I'll ever wear this. Um, if I want, if I want it, I'm just gonna reach for the original fragrance. And, but I will give it another chance. I'll give it another wear. But if it doesn't work out for me, maybe I'll do a giveaway on this channel, and I'll gift this to somebody. So stay tuned for that. So that was Sweet Tooth, Caramel Dream by Sabrina Carpenter. This next one here, this is called Citrus Circus. And it's by the brand Sniff. Citrus Circus. So this one here, this one was released in 2023. The notes are creamsicle, grapefruit, 
lime zest, sparkling water, neroli, violet, cedar, and white amber. And so this is a very bright citrus scent. The opening is very juicy and it's tart. You really get that grapefruit and the lime zest. As it dries down, you start to pick up that creamsicle note and it starts to smell kind of like an orange creamsicle. It adds some sweetness and some creaminess to the fragrance. I also pick up um, some of the neroli and it's a slightly bitter neroli, which does help, help to balance out the sweetness from the creamsicle. The cedar note, it comes out more and more as the fragrance dries down and it's there to give the fragrance some depth. It seems to have good performance, especially for a citrus fragrance. I had sprayed it on to test it. I sprayed it on before bedtime and in the morning when I woke up, I could still smell it. So that's usually citrus fragrances don't last very long. I also find this to be um, pretty unisex. I was expecting something very sweet and feminine, but this smells unisex to my nose. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep this one yet. You see, I haven't opened the bottle yet because the sniff, they, um, they will send you a fragrance to test. They will send you a, a sample with it. So you test the sample before you open the bottle. And as long as you don't open the bottle, you can return it. But I'm not sure. Um, I do like it. It's just citrus isn't usually um, my a scent profile that I'm very fond of, but the creamsicle note in here got me. I wanted to smell like an orange creamsicle, and it does, but it also has other things going on too, like the woods and the neroli and the grapefruit and the lion's ass. So we'll see. I'm leaning towards keeping it. I think it's nice for the warm weather. And so that's Citrus Circus, and it's by Sniff. And this next one here, this one is called Narco Oasis, and it's by the brand Narcotica.
So this one here, it was released in 2023, and the perfumer is Claude Deer. This is a tropical gourmand fragrance, and the top notes are passion fruit, black currant, and blood orange. Mid notes are peach, juicy pear, jasmine, iris, vanilla infusion, brown sugar, and tonka. The base notes are blonde woods, vanilla beans, musk, Creamy sandalwood and sea amber. So, this one, the opening, is a very, very juicy passion fruit. To me, this smells almost like a passion fruit punch. And kind of, it's gonna sound weird, but it kind of sounds a little bit like bubblegum too, to my nose, in the opening. And it's just a very um, strong, juicy, and sweet passion fruit. Which I'm happy about, because that's one of my favorite fruit notes. And there is a white musk in here that I definitely pick up, but it's a very clean musk, it's not screechy at all. When it dries down, the, um, the, the juicy fruitiness softens, and the, the creamy vanilla and the woods become more prominent. And the more it dries down, the, the more of the creamy vanilla that I pick up. I find that this has pretty good performance, especially for a fruity scent. And it's strong. And I really like it. I think if you're looking for a fruity passion fruit. This is a nice choice. So that's Narco Oasis and it's by Narcotica. This next one I have here this is called Guidance, and it's by Amouage A M O U A G E Amouage The designs even on the inside here. And then you have this pretty like taupe colored box. The beautiful bottle. The 
fragrance is very strong. I can smell it from here. Cap has a pretty jewel on it. And so out of this whole fragrance haul, this one is by far my favorite. So Guidance was released in 2023. It is by the perfumer Quentin Beach. And it's considered a floral, fruity fragrance. The top notes are pear, hazelnut, olibanum, and the mid notes are osmanthus, rose, saffron, and jasmine sandbag. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, akigala wood, Ambergris and labdanum. So this is a very, very unique woody, fruity fragrance. It's kind of hard to describe because it's blended so well. It's hard for me to pick out any individual notes. And when I first smelled it, I was very confused as to what I was smelling. I liked it immediately. I sprayed it on paper and I was like, wow. Um, I like it, but I don't know what I'm smelling. And then I sprayed it on my skin and I let it dry down and I just fell in love with it. It's so beautiful. And so the opening I can describe as kind of like a, a spicy poached pear with some woodiness. It's, um, it's sweet, but it's not very sweet. It's kind of more spicy. And I really pick up the Akigala wood, which I like. Um, that note to me smells kind of like a peppery, woody note. It's supposed to be reminiscent of patchouli. And I guess it's kind of like patchouli. It's, um, it has that kind of, like, kick that patchouli has. But it's not, it's not earthy, it's, it's like a woody, woody scent. And as the fragrance dries down, the spiciness, it starts to soften. And I start to pick up, um, very creamy, fruity vanilla. At this point, I think the fruitiness is coming from the osmanthus more than the pear because it's osmanthus it smells like it tends to smell like apricots and that's what I'm getting I also detect a little bit of rose if I look for it It's such a pretty fragrance. Um, 
I don't think this is very mass appealing. I know a lot of people like it, but there's a lot of people that really dislike it too. I guess it's polarizing. But for me, it's definitely a love. And it's something I could possibly make a signature scent if I wanted to have a signature scent. Although I will say it's a bit stronger than, than what I would normally um, use for a signature scent. I would go very light on the sprays with this. So that's Guidance and it's by Amouage. 